guys, welcome back to Brian's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to factor a perfect square trinomial. Whenever you have a trinomial in the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, it is going to be a perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is the result of squaring a binomial. And a binomial, as we all know, is a two-term polynomial and when you square a binomial you're multiplying the binomial by itself and the result is going to be a perfect square trinomial. So here we have a plus b squared which is the same as a plus b times a plus b which gives us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and on the other hand we have a minus b squared so when we multiply a minus b by itself we get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So here we have two examples. We have 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 and 9x squared minus 24x plus 16. So we'll be factoring these perfect square trinomials. Now the first thing is that if you want to determine whether a trinomial is perfect square, you can do that by looking at the first and last term of the trinomial. If the first and last term are perfect squares, that means it's going to be a perfect square trinomial. So 4x squared is a perfect square because the square root of 4x squared is 2x because 2x times 2x gives you 4x squared. 9 is also a perfect square because the square root of 9 is 3. So let's go ahead and now factor. So we know that when we factor, we're going to have two binomials. And in this case, since this is a perfect square trinomial, the binomial is going to be the same. So first step is that we need to find the square root of the first term. And as we said, the square root of 4x squared is going to be 2x. So 2x times 2x. We know that 2 times 2 gives us 4 and x times x gives us x squared because when you're multiplying variables, you're adding their powers. So x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1 gives you x to the power of 2 or x squared. Next step is to find the square root of the last term. And as we said, the square root of 9 is 3. So we're going to put 3. Now the final thing remaining is the signs. How do we know whether it's going to be 2x plus 3 or 2x minus 3? Well, we found the square root of 9 here. So we need to find out whether 3 is going to be positive or negative. Now, when you find the square root of a positive number, so we had positive 9, it could be positive and negative because positive 3 times positive 3 gives us positive 9. But negative 3 times negative 3 also gives us positive 9 because negative times negative is positive. So how do we know whether the 3 is going to be positive or negative? Well, we can determine that by looking at our middle term, which is in this case a positive 12x. We look at the sign of the middle term. So since this is a positive 12, we're going to be using the positive 3. So we're going to have positive 3. So our result of factoring 4x squared plus 12x plus 9, which was our perfect square trinomial, is 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, or simply 2x plus 3 squared. So our result is the square of a binomial. And if we square this binomial, we will get 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Now let's go ahead and do our second example, which is 9x squared minus 24x plus 16. So remember, first, if you want to identify this as a perfect square trinomial, you look at the first and last terms. We know that these are perfect squares because the square root of 9x squared is 3x and the square root of 16 is 4. Now we can go ahead and write down our binomials. So when you're factoring, we're going to get the same binomial but two of them. So the first step is to find the square root of the first term, and as we said, the square root of 9x squared is going to be 3x, because 3 times 3 gives you 9, and x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1 gives you x squared. Next, the square root of the last term, which is in this case positive 16, so it is going to be 4, because 4 times 4 gives you 16. And now in order to determine the sign, we're going to look at the sign of the middle term, which is in this case negative 24x. So that means the 4 is going to be negative. So we have 3x minus 4 and 3x minus 4, or simply 3x minus 4 squared. So these are, are our two solutions. We have 2x plus 3 squared for our first trinomial, and then we have 
3x minus 4 squared for our second perfect square trinomial. So this is how you factor a perfect square trinomial. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys next time. Bye!